welcome to Creating Your Dream Life and a Business as a Reality. Can I get a big wahoo? Yeah. <laughs> Class number four, how does it get any better than this? So does anybody have any uh, stories they want to share from this week? Uh, well, yeah, yeah this Rika, is this is point. Debbie. Hi. Go for it. Okay. Hi. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> I think I'm making more money, but um, I think people just like to be mad at me for anything before I even get a chance to do anything. And I'm in a networking group, and uh, there's someone who's stealing a lot of money um, from me, and I don't know what to do about it. Okay. And so you talked to someone else recently about someone was stealing from that person, and I can't remember what you said. Um, but it, it could go back because I wasn't really uh, – I know you don't want much story, but I wasn't a wanted child anyway, so maybe that that's a theme. Okay. So, mm, okay, so what, what secret agenda with choosing to be unwanted and a burden do you have? Based solely and only on the virtual vibrational realities of this reality, are you using to lock into existence the positional heat pads you are continuously choosing? Mm. Wow. Everything that brings up times a gazillion, we'd be willing to destroy and create it all. Yes. yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, online, pod, talk, shorts, boys, and beyond. Ugh. Oh, so boy, you guys. Holy Moses. Felt like that lost <laughs> a lot of junk. <laughs> So what secret agenda with choosing to be unwanted and a burden do you have? Oh, my goodness. Are you using to lock into existence the positional heat pads you are continuously choosing? Yeah. Yes. Everything that brings up time to God's zillion, will you just train and create it all? Yes. 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 All right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, holy moly, shorts, boys, and beyonds. So I'm not the only one. <laughs> No. Uh, no. <laughs> That's good. Sorry for you guys, but I'm glad it's not just me. <laughs> See, and what's crazy about this unwanted and burden thing, if you actually have this in your universe, are you going to allow yourself to have a phenomenal dream life where money shows up and great relationships and a great business and you're the superstar that you actually would like to be? No. Nope. It's like, no, not, not, not yet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So what secret agenda with choosing to be unwanted and a burden do you have in order to hold into existence the positional heat pads you are choosing? Everything that brings up time to Godzillion, will you destroy and create it all? Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. And the thing is, so Deborah, did you choose your parents? I guess I must have. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because it makes you feel lighter when you say yes. So the thing, the interesting thing about that is you actually chose to be unwanted and a burden in their eyes. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, so I was wanted by have... one of them. Oh yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How does it get even better than that? <laughs> okay. So everything that that brings up, times a gazillion, everywhere you chose parents. That would perfectly paralyze you oh, into my. never Ooh. showing up as you. Would you be willing oh. to destroy it and create all that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right, wrong, good, bad, all night, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. Oh, my God. So what secret agenda with choosing your parents in order to perfectly paralyze you do you have? Based solely and only on the virtual vibrational realities of this reality, are you using to lock into existence the positional heat pads you are continuously using and choosing to destroy your life. Mm. Wow. Everything that brings up times a godzillion will you destroy and uncreate it all. Yes. Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. Holy crap. (laughs) Yeah, really. (laughs) 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 I feel almost (laughs) ill. (laughs) <laughs> from that. <laughs> so I felt okay, that so before. So. Hello? Rita? Yes, Elena? Uh, I'm sorry, but um, I can barely hear anything. There's a huge 
huge amount of interference on the line. I think the interference may be on your end of the line because we can actually barely hear you. So would you be willing to try to call back in? Or yeah, I did that once already, but I'll, I'll try it again. Oh, you sound better now. Yeah, I'm still getting a lot on your side, but I'll, I'll try again. You sound okay, like you're on speakerphone. You sound you're, like you're on speakerphone. Yeah, you're kind of distorted. I'll try again. Okay. Sorry, honey. Yeah. Okay, so what if your choice of parents was absolutely genius? Okay. What if it was exactly what you required in order to, one, use all this information and all the information they gave you to stop you until the point where you had enough consciousness to actually choose you? Yes. <laughs> wow. So everything you've been doing to make it your parents' fault when they were perfectly paralyzing you in the exact <laughs> way that you required to gain all the information that you required in order to finally choose you, which you'd be willing to destroy and uncreate all that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, talk, talk, shorts, boys, and beyond. Rich, I have a question. You, I have a question about that. Yeah, sure. It's, it's Joanne. So, you know, Hi. when we talk about that, did our is this just something in recent generations, or did not our own parents come in, you know, hopefully wanting to be awake and conscious as well? Because... My parents sure as hell aren't going to wake up before they croak. That's pretty much a given. So, <laughs> so are, have we always, always in all lifetimes, or is this something just, just recently? Of course, both my parents are human, so maybe that explains it. <laughs> well, the thing about that is, like, if you're on this call, you're going, hey, I want more consciousness, okay? Not everyone ends up on this call. Not everyone okay. finds access consciousness and chooses it. In fact, 99.99999% of the population wants nothing to do with it so far. Okay, So you happen to be one of those 0.0001% of the planet that's actually here to change the world. Oh, we're so special. So in case you thought you were small beans <laughs> okay, and that you didn't really matter, you're actually crucial beyond your wildest imagination. So everything you're doing to make you feel small, act small, or that think that you are small, when really you're one of the keys that's required to change the world, would you be willing to destroy and create all that? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and meons. So some people, people choose their parents for different reasons. Some people choose their parents so that they can remain a victim for the rest of their life. But every, would you say everybody, but everybody, whether you're human or humanoid, chooses their parents? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They just maybe choose them for different reasons. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. I just was a little, I didn't quite understand that because I, I understand the, the human-humanoid thing, but I guess I always thought, well, everybody, you know, has had past lives and we're here many times. And so I guess I had thought, well, isn't everybody here to sort of wake up? But uh, obviously not. Yeah, it's not okay. everybody. <laughs> there are okay. people that are going to be the cows that come with the herd, okay? You're going to be one of the horses that's leading the herd. And they all go, what's over there? I think I'll have that. And then they all move when everybody else does. Oh, honey, I ain't a horse. I'm a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can be the unicorn. With wings. <laughs> okay, so Deborah also asked about somebody stealing from her. So here's your process for anyone who's fucking you over, okay, and not in a good way. What energies are you refusing to be and receive that you truly could be and receive that if you would be and receive them would change all realities and non-realities and manifest as never being able to be dominated, manipulated, controlled, orchestrated by anyone, anything, or any energy ever? Everything that brings up times a godzillion, will you destroy and create it all? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. So you can also call this woman and say, if you do this again, I will kill you. <laughs> if you do this again, I will kill you. With all the kill energy in your entire universe. If you do this again, I will kill you. If she tells anyone, say, who, me? You really think I would say that? Are you kidding? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm so sweet. <laughs> Can you say that statement again, or that question, what energies are you able to be and receive? Yeah, what energies? 
what energies are you refusing? And it'll be on the notes too. Oh, yeah. Beautiful, wonderful Anne. Hi, Rika. <laughs> I'm here. We love you, Anne. Hi, we love you, Anne. Yay, Anne. <laughs> <laughs> so what energies are you refusing to be and receive that you truly could be and receive that if you would be and receive them would change all realities and non-realities and manifest as never being able to be dominated, manipulated, controlled, or orchestrated by anyone, anything, or any energy ever? Everything that brings up times a godzillion will you destroy and I create it all. Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. Dominated, okay, manipulated, well, controlled, or what? Orchestrated. Orchestrated, that's right. Thank you. By anyone, anything, or any energy ever. Great. <laughs> right? How quickly can that work? <laughs> you can no. run that 30 times a day for 30 days, and literally you're stepping into all the energies that you're refusing to be and receive that are keeping you at the effect of this. And what will happen is you'll open up this doorway to access any energy, and people will not fuck with you because they're too scared of you. Okay. It's like Gary Douglas. People don't mess with Gary, okay? Because you, energetically, it's like he could choose anything. <laughs> ah! <laughs> no, we're not going to mess with that guy, okay? <laughs> Rika? Okay. Thank yeah. you. You're Rika, um, me, I've got a sort of um, fear of the future. Of, I've seen a lot of, uh, you know, there's the solar flare going on, and and there's a lot of um, t- talking about the the uh, ele- magnetic grid falling down and uh, no electricity, and that could mean a breakdown in um, society. So there's a part of me that says, well. What's the use for me? Will I have time to do my project and and uh, you know go beyond survival mode and uh, create my bring my contribute be the contribution that I am and and uh, manifest my um, my wealth and security that is uh, you know completely to be done because I'm starting from zero and I'm here financially zero you know. Hey, you know what? If you're financially zero and you're not in debt, you're doing 80% better than the rest of the people in this, on this uh, continent. <laughs> okay, so everywhere you think zero is zero, when you're actually doing better than everybody else, will you just run and create all that times a godzillion? Okay, yes. Yeah. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Okay, so does it make you feel lighter that there's going to be solar flares and death of everything during your lifetime? Um, it's not really death, but a big shift. Yeah, it doesn't feel, make me feel lighter. Now it brings up fears, of course, that I won't okay. be able to deal with it or that I need to so get the, ready. So the truth will always make you feel lighter, and a lie will always make you feel heavier. Or bring up. So fear. how many? Yeah, how many heavy things are you making true about what's going to happen with the Earth that actually isn't quite going to occur that way? So everything that you bought that's heavy, that's not true, would you be willing to destroy and create it all? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, 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 There's all kinds of crazy stuff going on with the Earth, right? Yeah. yeah Total indeed. annihilation of the planet, is that going to happen in your lifetime or not? I'm not talking about so- total na- annihilation. I'm talking about breakdown of the of the system, of the grid, of um, the solar flares, what they, the effect they have on the Earth and that they can have in our lives. Um, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so you're, okay. So first off, everything you say makes me feel heavy. Okay. Okay, so what if all of that actually isn't true? Mm. Okay, so everything yeah. you're getting ready for and you're eliminating you and you as a being and your life, and you're waiting to have your life because this is going to happen, the thing that's never going to happen is going to happen in your lifetime. Everything that Wait again, what? Got, I said, everywhere you think it's going to happen, will you destroy yeah. and create all that times a godzillion? Mm-hmm. Okay, yes. Yeah. Yeah, right, right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, yeah. pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Now, the Earth is requiring quite a bit right now. So mm-hmm. everything we can now contribute to the Earth on three, would you guys be willing to contribute it? Yeah. yeah. Basically, put your hands up. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. 
Cool. Okay, so what if you didn't use anything as the excuse of why you shouldn't show up? Yes. Okay. Mm. How many excuses have you came to in your lifetime about why you shouldn't, why it's not safe, why it's going to hurt you, why it's going to hurt other people, and why I think bad things are going to happen, and why it's not going to work, and don't have the time, or no, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, truth, everything that that is, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate it all entirely and utterly, all of your excuses, everyone? Yes. Yes. Totally. Yeah. yeah. All, all of them. Truth. Yes. 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 Revoke, recant, send, reclaim, renounce, denounce, destroy, and create right, wrong, good, bad, online, pop, pop, shorts, boys, and beyond. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, Ooh. boy, you guys had a lot of excuses. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rika, can I say something? Sure, Tony. Um, so, what's coming up is... Um, is it feels like I'm not fully receiving you and fully receiving what you have to say. It's almost kind of like, um, I don't know, for example, someone's trying to show me something, how to do something, and actually trying to be helpful, and I'm just like, fuck you, give me that. I want to do it myself. You know, that kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. Cool. Thanks for bringing that up. Yeah. So how many of you guys have been resisting everything that everyone says in order to find out what you want to choose? Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Except the thing about resisting everything, is that actually choice or is that no choice? No No choice. choice. No choice. So everywhere your first step in receiving any information is by refusing it, resisting it, shutting it down, and then maybe looking at a part of it, which isn't receiving it, would you be willing to destroy it and create all that time? God's the end. Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, online, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. What if instead you received all information and then chose what worked for you? Mm-hmm. Would that be a more generative way to receive information? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that feels okay, really so, light. So the thing is, if you have this point of view that you want to be a rebel, right? You want to be an outlaw, <laughs> you're like, no, I will do it my way. <laughs> okay? So that's really cool, but your whole point of view is sort of like, Fuck you to everybody. Mm-hmm. Hi, nice to meet you. Fuck you. <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you. Fuck you too. <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you. You might be give me everything I want in my life, but I'm gonna first say fuck you. <laughs> okay, great. Now that fuck you is established with everyone, what do I choose? Wait, how come nobody's offering anything? What happened? <laughs> okay, so and every fuck you you have to everybody else is also a fuck you to you. Uh, okay, so everything that brings up and every all the contribution you've been refusing by creating this rebel fuck you to everyone. So if anybody ever asks you for something that might work for you, you first have to tell them to fuck off. <laughs> then maybe you'll look at it, except maybe the opportunity has passed or you've already, you've already shown them that you're not interested. <laughs> everything that brings up... Times a godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. So would you guys give up the status of always being a rebel, always being an outlaw, and always saying fuck you to everybody? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Can I ask a question? Sure. Um, about the light and um, heavy thing, like, uh-huh. for example, you know, I have a lot of debt, so obviously that makes me feel heavy, but... Does that mean it's not true? Uh, I'm a little confused about that. <laughs> uh, it actually just means you have a judgment, a bad judgment of you in regards to it. Okay. Okay, so check this out. So the truth is you have debt. Does it make you feel lighter? No. Okay, that's because you have judgment. Oh. See, does everybody else on the call, does that make them feel lighter? Yes. 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 Okay, so the truth is you're wrong for your debt. Does that make you feel heavier? Yes. Yeah, does that make everybody else on the call feel heavier? Yeah. Because that's a lie. See, the thing is, from your point of view, if you have a an idea that you're wrong for the debt that you're in, 
anytime anybody says anything about it or brings it up or anything, it's going to make you feel bad because you've decided that's what's going to make you feel bad. So all the debt that you guys have that you feel really terrible about, and for some reason you keep holding the judgment in place, okay, about feeling bad about the debt. Now, does judgment unlock something or lock it in place? Lock it in place. Okay, are we brilliant or what? <laughs> I know. Let's judge all the bad things, the things that we want to change, so they never change. <laughs> <laughs> everything that brings up times of God's day and all the judgment you have about that and everything else that you've decided is bad, would you be willing to destroy and then create it all? Yes. yes. <laughs> right, wrong, good, bad, all night, pot, pot, shorts, boys, and beyond. Okay, so what you may want to run, Elena, is what does my debt mean to me with your partner? What do I mean to the debt? What does sex with the debt mean to me? And what does sex with me mean to the debt? And run it until somebody goes, what does the debt mean to you? And you're like, nothing. Okay, then you can actually start from, okay, cool, how about let's change it? Okay, so then what you want to begin asking is, what else can I add to my life in order to for this not to exist. Okay, so if it's under 40000 you want to plan out how much you would need to make in a year in order to pay off the debt and have your phenomenal life. Okay? And if it's over 40000 you want to look at how many years, two years, or three years that it would look, you know, how much you would have to make per month to pay it off. Uh-huh. Is that cool? It's a lot. <laughs> Okay, everything that brings up times a godzillion, will you destroy and create it all? Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pod, shorts, boys, me on. Okay, so instead of it's a lot, what if you went to, okay, what can I be, do, have, create, or generate that would actually bring in way more money than this every month? That's good. Right? Mm. So then you go, okay, what are the infinite ways that I allow the universe to pay me? So you may have, you know, like books that you sell, you may have products, you may have uh, real estate, you may have like all kinds of different things. So, and you want to keep asking questions about every one of those areas. Okay, so what would I need to change about this in order for it to bring me more money? What else could I institute that would bring me more money? And you constantly want to be in the question about every single way that you have for the universe to pay you. And what are the infinite possibilities? What else is possible here? Uh Okay. Okay, so everything that doesn't allow all of you to have an awareness of what that would be for you, would you be willing to destroy and then create it all? Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. <coughs> Ooh, babies. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, what if it's finally time to get your life to work for you? Mm-hmm. Okay, your money yep. flows to work for you, your business to work for you. Mm-hmm. So how much have you created a financial reality that doesn't actually work for you? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Holy Moses. So what's the value of creating a financial reality that doesn't work for you? <laughs> yeah. Holy crap. Everything that brings up times a godzillion way you just run and create it all. Yeah. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pot, pot, shorts, boys, and beyond. Oh, boy. So what's the value of creating a financial reality that doesn't work for you? I don't know. (laughs) I think that brings up. (laughs) That was so depictive of the energy. I don't know. Everything that brings up <laughs> everything that brings up times of God's so you know you destroy and uncreate it all. Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine pod pop shorts, boys and beyond. Ooh. What's the value of creating a financial reality that doesn't work for you? <sighs> everything that brings up times of God's so you know you destroy and uncreate it all. Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. What's the value of creating a financial reality that doesn't work for you? 
Everything that brings up times a godzilla. You know, you're destroying yeah. and I created it all. Yes, yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, fuck, fuck, George, boys and beyonds. How many of you use the money you refuse in order to destroy you? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Oh. <sighs> Everything that brings up time to God's will you know you destroy and uncreate all that. Yes. Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. How many of you use money in order to create a level of stress and unease and lack. worry that, and, lack. Yeah, and lack that feels normal to you? Yep, that's me. Oh, isn't that fun? Everything that yep. brings up time, mm-hmm. Godzillion, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. Yeah. 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 Right, Create wrong, no bad. All nine pot talk shorts, boys and beyond. Yeah? It creates frustration oh. also. <coughs> What's that? It creates frustration. Frustration, yeah, anger and frustration. Yeah, anger. Yeah. True. So what's the value of using the money you refuse to have in order to destroy you? Yes. Everything that brings up time to God's will, you know, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh. So what's the value of using the money you refuse to have to destroy you? Yes. Yeah. Everything that brings up time to God's will, you know, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. 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 Right around, give that all nine pod pox shorts, boys and beyond. So did anybody do the assignment this last week where you take 10% of everything you've been given and start a relationship with it? Yes. No. I forgot. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, does anybody have anything to say that actually did it? I, I've been having, I've been putting mine away in a jar for about a month now anyways. Uh-huh. It's a little jar in my in my underwear drawer. <laughs> <laughs> a sexy place, I like does that, it. Well, I don't think my underwear is very sexy. <laughs> I have a friend who says she's going to take me on a panty-buying trip because I kind of like the plain <laughs> pot. But anyways, it's in my underwear drawer. Does that count? <laughs> yes, it does, darling. It is definitely in your pants. <laughs> Interesting place to start a relationship. <laughs> Go, Mary. I like it. That's, that's really fun. Okay, so did you throw all that money on your bed and roll around in it? Not yet. Oh, we'll have to. You'll have to do that this week. Okay. okay. Did you Did you start loving your yarn of money? What? Did you start loving your jar of money? No, mm-hmm. not yet. But I, well, I talk to it when I'm putting money in it. Oh, good. Okay. Well, that's okay. a start. I mean, I'm in, gra- I'm in gratitude. Yeah. Okay. L- little communication in the relationship. Okay, but what you need to do <laughs> is you need to you need to start taking it out on dates because you've neglected it. Well, somebody on the call before we started said they slept with their money, so maybe I'll sleep with the jar of money tonight. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's a good assignment this week, okay? So whatever 10% jar of money that you have, sleep with it tonight, okay? Aww. Love it. Whisper sweet nothings in its ear. Tell it how <laughs> grateful you are for it, how much you love and adore it, how sexy it is, how it brings you everything that you desire, and it's always <laughs> there for you. And it's constantly expanding, right? It comes really easily. <laughs> okay, is that not funny? <laughs> yeah. it comes really easily. <laughs> wow. There's only one thing you want hard in life, my friends. <laughs> 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 okay, because literally, it's like before. It's like in order to change this relationship, what if you actually embrace these exercises so that you could actually start creating a completely different relationship with money? Yeah. Okay. So I encourage you to continue doing that because that is going to change your financial reality more than you even thought was ever possible. And those of you that haven't done it, just get, you're not doing it because you don't actually wish to receive money. Okay, it's actually that simple. About three and a half years into Access, I realized I haven't really been doing the 10%. 
I've been pretending like I have been, and then I'd spend it and pretend and spend and pretend and spend. I was like, oh, my God, what am I unwilling to receive here? And I was like, oh, my God, I'm actually refusing money. Holy Moses. Okay, cool. How about I stop doing that? So everything that you guys are doing to totally refuse money and to use money to destroy you, your life, your business, your money flows, your value and everything about you, would you guys be willing to destroy and create all that? Times of God's yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. Rika? So. Yeah. Hmm. Rika? Yeah. This is Kim. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi, Kim. Um, hi. hi. I've been doing the 10% for quite some time. I'm I'm looking forward to rolling around in it this week. Um, nice. And uh, the trade show that I just did, the last two trade shows, um, the one that I just did, uh, we're back up to where we were probably four or five years ago. So awesome. it, sales increased from last year by, I don't know, 70 or 80%. Awesome. And um, the Denver Museum of Science and History found me on the web and placed <laughs> a really big wholesale order. Nice. Yeah. Okay. And so now it's, you know, what is my dream life beyond and above or beyond jewelry? But it's, um, you know, no matter what's going on, I've kept putting 10% away. Um, awesome. And, um, yeah, it really, it does seem to make a difference. It just my whole energetic experience is different. Thank you for that, Kim. Thank cool. you so much. And did you start feeling that there was an energy of having that comes into your universe? Mm-hmm. Well, there's, um, there's, uh, it's interesting. Before I moved to Colorado, the year that I moved to Colorado, I actually had saved a hundred thousand dollars and had that in cash in my hand. So I've, mm. I've had that. But it's also just not sustained, and so that's really where I'm at is is exponentially increasing beyond my wildest dreams and cool. having it easily and effortlessly sustainable and basically having lots of babies. Thank you very much. And, yeah. And um, um, so, but there's something about no matter how tight it's been with all the stuff going on, I take a 10% figure out what my net is, take it and put it aside, there's something that seems to hmm, free up, let go, open, something when I do that. Yeah. It's actually telling the universe that your first priority is taking care of you. Mm -hmm. Okay? Before you pay bills, before you go out to dinner, before you, you know, pay your rent, before you do any of that stuff, you're going, hey, I honor me first. Now that I've honored me and we're having this great relationship that's constantly expanding, always nurturing, caring, kind, and expansive, we're having this relationship, and I'm honoring that and I'm honoring me, now I can look at actually, you know, giving some of my money away to these other things. Mm -hmm. So everything that doesn't allow you guys to be, know, perceive, and receive the energy that Kim's talking about, and if you feel like you're like, yeah, 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 move on, move on, okay, that may be, are you really doing your 10%? Or have you started it or not? And if the answer is no, you might want to look at that. <laughs> okay. Well, I did it for a while, and then you know I'm you know sort of really short of money, so you know I dip into it, and you know that's the problem. Okay. So what if instead of spending it, you asked a billion questions, and we're willing to do whatever it takes? Because when you spend it, you're telling the universe, I don't really matter. I'm not really honoring me. I lied to you. Or that I don't have enough. Right. Or that you don't have enough, or that the universe isn't an abundant place, or that nothing else is possible. Mm. So you send out lots of signals when you send your 10%. So everything that is times a God's billion, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. Rika, I have a question. Yes. Sure. Um, so we are trying to pay off debt to become debt-free. So wouldn't that 10% be better going toward being debt-free and not paying interest and therefore (coughs) big corporations and whatnot? Or should you – how does that relationship work? Actually, what you want to do is 
what would it take for me to have so much money that I could pay off my debt and do my 10% and do whatever access classes I desire and take trips or whatever else? Like you want to ask for your phenomenal life, not your puny small getting by life. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes, but so, I mean, a hard time that? having, say, I just paid for a horse, $1,500. So I take uh -huh. percent of that and, and put it over here where it's not doing anything versus having it working for me or or paying off debt that I'm paying interest on that I don't want to do anymore. <clears throat> okay, so what if having was actually more valuable than you could even imagine? See, Kim was like, yeah, um, our shows have gone up like 70%. That means that she's selling 70% more product based on her willingness to have. So <clears throat> what if that $150 actually serves a tremendous like uh, contribution to yeah. you? Yep. So everywhere you're not seeing the energetic contribution as a contribution, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate it all? Yeah. 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 Right, wrong, yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. Like two yeah. weeks into the month, when you've made what you require, you stop making money. Hmm? Okay, so well, what's on. the value of struggle and survival as life? Hey, hey. coming up. Come on. Come on. And it sounds like somebody's calling a dog. So you're not on mute, just in case you thought you were. <laughs> <laughs> so what secret agenda with the rightness of survival are you using to lock into existence the positional heat pads you are continuously choosing. Everything that brings up time to Godzillion, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Rika? Yeah. This is Kim again. I would like to, I'm going into mediation on my legal case next Tuesday. Hmm. Um, we did deposition, and I'm told I did well. And the opportunity to receive my cases valued at double what their policy limits are, more than double that. Okay. So, if I may, what clearing, what, I mean, I've been doing a bunch of energetic stuff. Linda Wassel and I had a great time doing homework today um, around the wrongness of us and, and the rightness of us. and. But this is this case and the opportunity to be in it, no matter how the time is, is really life changing life for me. And it's right. huge. And it's wonderful. And, it's and um, um, so, any clearings that you have that would pertain to me and to all of us about the ability okay. to receive beyond anything we've ever imagined, and yeah. that nobody, have, nobody would consciously choose to go through what I've gone through to get to this moment of choice, um, okay. but to. So please, anything that you can, because if I, my goal is what's possible to complete it through mediation and and uh -huh. not go to trial. Okay, well, the piece that made me feel heavy about what you just said is that no one would consciously choose to go through what I went through. Well, okay. So what, you did actually consciously choose it. Yes. Okay, so everything you've been doing to make yourself a victim instead of just... Have it and receive it. Would you be willing to destroy okay. and create all that? Yeah. Times of God's end, absolutely. Times of God's end, right, wrong, good, bad, all night, pod, pod, George, boys, and beyond. Okay, so then what you want to ask is what generative energy, space, and consciousness can me and my body be that would allow this to turn out greater than anything we can currently imagine? Mm -hmm. Okay, so truth, are you willing to receive? Uh, what, what's the amount of money that you could receive from this? Um, my attorneys are asking for 1.9 million. Okay. So, truth, are you willing to receive 1.9 million? There's, 
yes at about one one point two and, and there's some sort of no involved. Okay, so what's the no? It's a feeling, it's it's that feeling. Okay, so everything that brings up times a godzillion? Will you just join and create all that? Yes. Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pock, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Okay, so the thing about right. unlocking you, the not consciously choosing it, you got to be yeah. willing to wear that on your sleeve and make it real, even if it's not real for you. There's, okay, there's something about um, being greedy as well as my attorneys have said, don't expect them to even go up to policy limits of $1 million. And that's that's where, you know, but there's something about 1.9 in this conversation and saying it publicly, so to speak. So I think there's something about being greedy or something. Okay. So everything that would allow the idea that if you had that much money or got that much money that you would be being greedy, how much is your life worth? How much is your body worth to you? There's, I, it's huge and there's a lot of sadness for some reason coming up. Okay, so everywhere your life hasn't been that valuable to you, and everywhere all of your lives have not been that valuable to you, where you'd actually demand what you actually require and desire, will you yes. join and create that times a godzillion? Absolutely. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pock, shorts, boys, and beyond. Okay, so how much is your life and your body worth to you? How much money would someone have to pay you in order for you to go through this again? The figure that comes is $5 million. Okay. So everything that doesn't allow you to be no perceive and receive that totally, will you destroy and create it all? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pod, shorts, boys, and meons. Okay, so these assholes are giving you $1.9 million. Everything that brings up times a godzillion, will you destroy and create all that? Yes. Yeah. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pock, shorts, boys, and meons. Okay. So, Truth, are you willing to receive $1.9 million? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's about okay. 90%, no, 95 <laughs> So, right, wrong, good, bad, pod, pock, all nine, shorts, boys, and beyond, and any little tidbit that I have to hang on to because of whatever, just try and create all that. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pock, short, boys, and meons. Okay, what you want to be is be in the living of having it. Got it. Okay. Okay. So maybe you even take your bank account, scratch out the numbers, and put the numbers in there. Okay. Okay. And be with having it. And then every time, okay, and actually, like, whatever is required, because what, what it seems like ends up happening is people have a, a certain amount of money that they're comfortable having, and if they'll actually spend money and refuse money and not allow themselves to receive any kind of money that's greater than that. Right. right. Yeah. So, right, right. And I've actually been experiencing that as my life grows and I generate more money. It's like, oh, my God, okay, now I'm feeling uncomfortable with that amount of money in the bank account and that, you know, amount of money in jewelry. And, wow, okay, time to pock and pop myself everywhere. I think this is, you know the end of it, and this is as much money as I'd allow myself to receive, right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pock, shorts, boys, and beyonds. So what if you bead with that amount of money? Like, put it all in your house energetically. Yeah, okay, that's a great idea. I've been doing that to, to hold the space so that my lawyers can say what they do or the other lawyers say what they do, and this is exponentializing it, so I really appreciate it. Yeah, so whatever you have to do to actually be with that wealth and have it on you and then... And have it be perfectly you know, okay, yeah. Yeah, totally. And then get rid of all the resistance and reaction and alignment and agreement that doesn't allow yeah. you to have it and receive it with ease. See, and that's okay. part of how much is your life and body worth and you're like 5 million. So 1.9 should be easy to receive for what occurs. Okay. Right? Because then you're looking down at it going, dude, really? 1.9 for that? Fuck you. Thank you very much. <laughs> but I'll receive it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Does somebody else have a question? I do. It's Luma. You. You're welcome, um, Kim. <laughs> is it my turn now? Uh-huh. Okay. Um, what's been coming up for me recently, especially over the weekend, this is 
idea that, in truth, my life should be way too easy. I mean, honestly, when I look at myself, I pretty much have it going on on, like, every level. You know, I'm good-looking, I'm charismatic, I'm intelligent, I'm creative. I've got all these things, and I just feel like my life is unnecessarily too hard considering all these gifts that I have. And I also have this, I'm aware of, I have this, like, magnetic energy that people should be just, like, throwing themselves at my feet. That's how mm-hmm. easy things should be for me. Um, and, and I find I always, I'm always making it less. Like, I can't be too beautiful. I can't be too bright. I can't be too wealthy. I can't be too this, that. So what secret agenda with refusing you as the god or goddess of your own reality. Are you using to lock into existence the positional heap heads you are continuously choosing? Everything that brings up times a godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. yes. Right, wrong, yes. good, bad, all night, pot, pock, shorts, boys, and beyond. What if you were meant to be honored as a god or goddess? What if you were meant to have gold and riches and all kinds of stuff thrown at your feet? Okay. Yeah, it's a truth. How many of you are actually willing to receive that? Well, yeah. Okay. Everything that brings up times a godzillion, will you destroy and create it all? Yes. Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all night, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. Okay, this is going to be a little bit of an interesting assignment. Mm-hmm. And you can do it if you want to, and uh, it may be kind of cool. And so, um, But it has to happen in person, so you might have to get somebody in your town or do it. Well, yeah, you might have to do it out of class if you're sort of out of town and you want to do it at a two and three or something. But the assignment is this. So you do this for the other person. And uh, L'Oreal and Soleil introduced this to me. It's something that the, um, like Shri Shri, New Living, whatever, actually does. I don't have a brain. But you... Um, you basically look at the person you're in front of, and it's like you're honoring them totally. You're saying, in your presence and body and being, you are a god and a goddess, and I'm here to worship you. Something like that, okay? The thing is, how many of you guys are willing to receive worship? That would be a fuck no. <laughs> Just to let you know. <laughs> All of you guys, what do you do when people worship you? Do you receive them or make them go away? Make, make them go, go away. away. Yeah. Go away. Okay, so are, is there anybody on the call that feels like I'm totally willing to receive worship? Yeah, I not feel so like much, I right? give it, it'd be challenging to receive it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, so everything that brings up times I got to you and everywhere you're unwilling to be worshipped, will you destroy and create it all? Yes. 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 yes, forevermore. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pock, shorts, boys, and beyond. Okay, so you stand across from the person. And it's for the person that say, like, standing, you put your hands together. And it's like saying, I honor you totally. Every pore of your body and being, I'm here to totally kiss the ground you walk upon. And you start, one person will start bowing, and the other person can't bow. They have to receive it. Okay, and as you start bowing, what will happen, actually it works for both people. Ha, 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 cool. Part of it is being able to be that sort of vulnerable, and the other part is being able to receive it. So you can switch back and forth. So you bow, and then what will happen is there will be a point at which one of you is not willing to receive it. Okay, hold on. Somebody left the building. Everything that brings up, right, wrong, good, bad, online, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. Come back to me. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, now we're back again. And you basically bow to where you're on your knees and you're kissing their feet. Okay. And what will happen is through that whole process, both of you will eject from your bodies about 20 to 30 times. Because you're not actually willing to have that much adoration, that much attention, and that much worship. Uh So everything that brings up times a godzillion, all the worship that you guys are completely refusing, no matter what, because you don't want to be that great, that kind, that amazing, that gorgeous, that wonderful, and that cared for, would you be willing to destroy and create all that times a godzillion? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. So what secret agenda would the rightness of refusing to be worshipped? 
are you using to lock into existence the positional he pads you are continuously choosing? Everything that brings up times the gods of you know, we either strain and create it all. Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pot, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Oh, you guys. My God. So, Rika, what is it that you say? You look them in the eye and you say, in, uh, um, well, it's, it's energetic. In your body and presence of being, you're a goddess and I'm willing to worship you? Yeah, it's kind of like I honor you totally. I see mm-hmm. every pore of your body and being. It's sort of like acknowledging them as that gorgeous, sweet, beautiful everything. And as what will happen is as one person bows, you guys will eject from your bodies like 10, 20, 30 times. Part of it is the willingness to receive worship, and part of the willingness is to actually worship you. What's weird is when you're worshiping somebody else, you're actually worshiping the God in you at the same time. So it's kind of one of those really screwed up things. That <laughs> it's one of these things that L'Oreal and Soleil put me through, and I'm like, dude, that was amazing and fried my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Because the thing is, and if you want to go big, right, if you want, you know, millions of people in the entire universe to know about you and to pay you money, you have to be willing to receive, like, beyond what people are willing to receive. You have to be willing to be contributed to, willing yes. to be adored, willing Rika? to receive adoration. Yeah. Yeah. For me, like, that, the, this whole worship thing makes my stomach curl because, for me, the energy is people want something from you. And if I worship something, that means I'm giving my power away. But it's more like if people worship me, and I think I've had like past lives, people did that kind of thing, it's like they all want something from you. Because people yeah. pray to God because they want something, and people ask the Virgin Mary for because they want something. Yeah. I, you know, it's to me, it's total opposite of what you're even saying. I know. Isn't that crazy? So everything that brings up, times a godzillion, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate it all? Yes, sure. Yes. <laughs> right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. And what's true about this assignment, what will actually set you free, is you actually worshiping you. Like you being your own god and goddess who sees you as that, who receives you as that, who knows you are that. Okay, so what secret agenda with the refusal to be worshipped and adored do you have? Based solely and only on the virtual vibrational realities of this reality, are you using to maintain and entrain, always eliminating everyone else's contribution hmm. to, of, and for you? Yes. Mm. Oh. Everything that brings up times of God's billion, we destroy and create it all, right, wrong, good, bad, all yeah. night, pod, pod, fully, molly, yeah. shorts, boys, and beyond. Huh. When you add the word adore in, that changes the energy for me. I mean, what's, ah. what's what's the actual definition of to worship something? I have no idea. What's I don't know. It's just in energy. <laughs> Phrase? Yeah. Somebody can look it up and let Would us know on the call if you guys are by oh, a computer. I'd be happy that people adore me. Yeah. Okay. So the thing, though, if you're refusing anything, does it keep you from choice? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so that's why the worship thing has such a charge on it, right? How many people have you worshipped that have stopped? That have what? That have what? That have, that have, it has not turned out good for you. They have screwed you over and not in a good way. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. So everything that brings up and all your oath vows, commitments, communities, fealties, to all your churches, cults, religions, and institutions, everyone you've ever worshipped through all time, space, dimensions, and reality, will you destroy and create it all? Yes. 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 Or revoke or can't resign, reclaim, renounce, denounce, destroy, and create right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. So what secret agenda with the refusal to be worshipped and adored do you have? Be solely and only on the virtual vibrational realities of this reality are you using to maintain and entrain, never allowing the entire universe to contribute to you totally? Yeah. Everything that brings up times a godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. Oh, boy. So, Rika, part, I, I um, you know, I work with little kids, 
and many of them do adore me and they do worship me and they talk about me all week long before they come in to see me and their faces light up when they see me and i can receive that from them and it and i don't receive it from anybody else <laughs> yeah well little kids have a lot less judgment right yeah if any yeah okay so what if you still received worship and adoration from everyone else and their judgment. Okay. So how much are you guys willing to be judged by other people? What percentage? Oh. God. And maybe. Two (laughs) percent. Okay, so everything that brings up times a godzillion will you destroy and create it all. Yes. Yes. Rai, wrong, good, bad, online, pod, box, shorts, boys, beyond. So I was talking with another facilitator, and she was like, I'm like, well, truth, do you, do you ha- do you, are you controlled by other people's judgments of you? She's like, no, not at all. And I was like, really? And we went through the percentages, and she found out she was 70 or 80% affected by everybody else's judgments of her. Oh, yeah. Okay, and then we went through, and she's like, well, how affected are you by other people's judgments? And we went through all the numbers, and like 3 to 5% was made us feel lighter. It's like, okay, so the thing is, is that the more of you you have, the less you have a point of view about anybody judging you in any which way. Okay, so that's where worshiping and adoring you will give you the entire universe you're trying to get from everything else. So what if it was finally time to totally worship and adore every pore of your body and being? Yes. So every you're doing to keep yourself from that by judging you, would you be willing to destroy and then create it all? Yes. Yeah. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. Ooh. So what secret agenda... Line. I know. What secret agenda would never allowing you to worship and adore you are you using to maintain and entrain everything you refuse to be, know, perceive, and receive about who you truly be? Mm-hmm. Everything that brings up times a godzillion, will you just try and create it all? Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, online, pod, talk, shorts, boys, and beyond. Okay? The thing is, when you like you, are people kind of pissed at you liking you? Yep. Yep. Right? Because you like you, and they want to like themselves, but they can't freaking figure out how you got to like you because they want to like themselves, except they don't like themselves, they hate themselves, and they wonder how you got there. Jerk. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. The other piece is that if you have no judgment of you, no matter what judgment they throw at you, you're not playing ball, so you're not catching it what will happen is their arm will get tired and they will eventually adore you. Mm. Okay, so everywhere you're holding in place any judgment of you, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate all that? Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how much judgment are you using to totally destroy you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everything that brings up times a godzillion will you destroy and create it all. Right, wrong, good, bad, all life, pop, pop, holy moly, shirts, boys, and beyond. Oh. With all the heat pads. <laughs> yes. Uh. Can you see that so what? Oh, check this out, you guys. So what creation of what you think is true about you are you using to lock into existence the positional heat pads and judgments you are continuously choosing. Hmm. Wow. How oh, everything that brings up times a godzillion will you destroy and I create it all. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 All right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. Because you guys actually think those judgments are true. Yeah. yeah. Holy crap. They're fact. They're true. They're not fiction. Everything that brings up times a godzillion will you destroy and uncreate it all. Yeah. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pop, pop, shorts, boys, and beyond. Rika, kind of along those lines, this is Mary. Um, 
it's my homework. I just started looking at um, money and the role it was playing and just all my points of view around it. And so I just started changing those and pot and potting and it's been remarkable what's starting to what I'm allowing to show up. Awesome. Oh wow. You mean when you change your point of view everything changes? Yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let's look around the room. Did that just happen? <laughs> Did the world just change? <laughs> hold on, the world might stop turning. <laughs> And I think somebody may have just came off of uh, of mute or something because it's sort of starting to... No, oh, I went away. So the thing about that is it's actually really that easy. All you have to do is change whatever points of view you have in place and everything will change. Yeah. And I had some really interesting experiences along that, too, of, of being more aware of following the energy you know, um, I followed the energy in my, all of a sudden I got it that my car needed oil. Um, and so I, you know, there are almost no full-service gas stations, and it was late at night. And, you know, my car drove right, I followed the energy, and it drove right to a full-service gas station. And there was a guy waiting to check my oil, and put in a court. <laughs> I mean, it couldn't have been easier. Just just like that has been yeah. showing up when I allow myself to follow the energy and and not question it, you know. Um, I might think I'm following the energy for one reason, but if something else shows up, I just allow that to sort of show up because it's been kind of remarkable. Yeah. Mm. And did you also start stepping into getting out of the wrongness of you this week too, Mary? Did you oh, that? oh my God! Yes, I pock and pot. My thank you, my partner Elizabeth. We we did a lot of clearing around the wrongness of me, and it's funny. It's uh, you know what showed up it was just like all this old familial stuff, all all stuff that I was programmed by my family. I mean, I could just hear it. I could hear myself saying it. You know, and I'm thinking, wow, yeah, awesome. So what's really interesting is, like I said at the beginning of yes, last week's call, is what if what was required for you guys to have this phenomenal dream life and business as a reality is actually you getting out of the wrongness of you. Okay? So there's only one person that can get you out of the wrongness of you, and unfortunately it's not me. It's actually you. So if you didn't get to last week's assignment, please do. Ask your partner, so what's so wrong about you? What's so wrong about, you know, and basically process everything that you think is wrong about you. Okay? Because if you actually undid all the wrongness of you, what would show up? Okay, just look at the future of your life, even in six months. If you didn't go to the wrongness of you for six months and literally just abolished all of it, like, yep, never mind. No, you know what? I'm a gift and a contribution. Thank you very much. Okay, if you allowed yourself to know that, what would your life look like in six months? What would your life yeah. look like in a year? Whoa. That's one year. Did you guys feel it go crazy off the charts? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what if what was actually required, like to pack a 1,000 people into your show, or even... 10,000 people into your show, or 20 or 60. Hey, let's, you know, increase the stadium size, right? Or receive all those clients, or receive that money, or receive that relationship, or whatever that is. What if what was actually required was you knowing just how big of a gift and contribution that you really are? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And to unlock everything you've ever thought was wrong about you, or anything you've ever chosen. So everything that brings up, Times a godzillion, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. Hello, Rika. Yeah. Hi, this is Tina. Hi. Uh, I was wondering about the wrongness and the rightness. Isn't rightness also a judgment? Because I, I can go into, okay, so if I do this session and it goes really well, 
uh, I get money and then I'm more right. Yeah. Isn't that just cute? But um, <laughs> do you see where I'm going? Because cause it yeah. seems like either we're going to be all, all wrong or right. And right's also yeah. a judgment. Yeah. yeah. See, and the thing about that is if you actually got out of the wrongness of you, you wouldn't be invested in the rightness either. Mm. Okay. And what if you stop judging what your other what your clients receive, what they have to receive, and what's valuable about what you're doing, and mm. stop trying to prove its value? Mm. What if yeah. you let idiots pay you for nothing? <laughs> <laughs> wow. So everything you're doing to stay in a constant state of judgment of whether you're delivering mm. value or not. Would you be willing to destroy mm-hmm. and create all that entirely and utterly? Yes. yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, meons. Because if your sort of point of view is, wow, what would it take for anybody who's stupid enough to pay me to show up? You won't be in a constant state of judgment about whether you're delivering or not. <laughs> I'm writing that one down. <laughs> <laughs> Everything that brings up and everywhere you've just tried to make sure that everyone knows your value and how valuable you are and how valuable the session was and how valuable the product was, instead of, great, they were stupid enough to pay me. Will you just try and create all that time? Yeah. 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 <laughs> wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. Okay, so what would it take for someone stupid enough to pay me to show up? Yeah, what would it take for a million or billion people stupid enough to pay me to show up? Okay, well, we'll take and pay me <laughs> with <Okay>. bodies. <laughs> oh, nice. Rika? Yeah, yeah. Hey, it's it's Luma again. Um, I know something with me that's been a real impediment to I feel like my success as a public speaker, is, especially with groups. It seems like whenever I need to speak in front of a group, even on this call, it just happened the last time I spoke up. I mean, my whole system kind of locks up and my I feel like my voice gets dense, my body locks up. It's almost like this paralysis that happens and no matter what I do, I haven't been able to kind of change really that very much. Okay. So is that is that excitement that you're turning into fear? Is that you showing up as the potency of you? Or is that everything that's occurred in any lifetime when you've ever shown up as you? It feels like it's my potency and everything that's ever occurred in any lifetime when I showed up as me. Okay. So all the decisions, judgments, computations, and conclusions that you made after you showed up as you in any lifetime and bad stuff happened. Mm-hmm. Okay. All your DJCCs, would you be willing to destroy and create all those entirely and utterly? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. Mm-hmm. Okay. So how many of you guys are willing to be heard? Yeah. <laughs> okay. What percentage are you willing to be heard? Five percent. Yeah. One percent. Do it to ease, right? <laughs> You're like, okay, oh, crap, 90 percent of everything I say, I don't want anyone to hear. Wow. Holy wow. crap. So how many judgments, conclusions, decisions, and computations do you have about what you, the results or the effect of what you've said in the past has caused? Mm. Yes. <laughs> oh, God, everything that brings up times, God, the only way you destroy and uncreate it all. Yes. yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. Oh, God. Okay, how much judgment do you have about what you say and what you've said? Oh, shit, a lot. Shit, a lot. <laughs> That's almost as much as your body. Holy but Jesus! Everything that brings up and everywhere you're in a constant state of judgment of everything you say and do. Oh, Isn't God. that fun? Ooh, everything God. that brings up times a godzillion, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate all that? Yeah. Yeah. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. Oh. So is there a clearing we can say 30 times a day uh, for 30 days to assist with that? that? Yeah. yeah. 
Okay, so, well, there's there's a little bit of uh, awareness and information that you require a little bit more to, Tony. So okay. how many things have you said that actually would have raised consciousness if the people were willing to receive it? Mm. Tons. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. pretty much everything, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, how many people in your life have been willing to have their consciousness raised by the things that you've said? One percent. <laughs> <laughs> Almost nobody. So you think 99% of everything you say is not effective. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everything that brings up, times a godzillion, will you be willing to destroy and uncreate it all? Yeah. 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 But, Rika, you just said only... Boys the end. What's that? You said at the beginning of the call, like only point like point zero zero one percent of us are willing to wake up. So aren't we most of the time talking to people that really aren't? Yep. Okay. <laughs> so why <Yeah>. bother? <laughs> they may be wrong yeah. to do. Well, the other thing I think the travesty is is you make it about you. Right. Right? right? So oh, what if yeah. you were just, you know, more brilliant, more amazing, more phenomenal, more conscious, and more aware than 99.999% of the world around you, especially your family and your parents? Okay. <laughs> so... What if all of them had no capacity to receive you? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so everything you've been doing to make that something you said or did that created that, would you be willing to destroy and then create all that times a godzillion? Yeah. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pot, talk, shorts, pot, 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 So somebody I maybe just came off mute, or maybe it's okay. So okay, if I got you a, look I got at a great image just just to quickly sort of um what well, the image that came up as you said that it's like imagine all of us are you know the magicians we grew up with and they're doing the tricks and pulling the ribbons out of their coat and everything and we're up there and they love it and that's who we are and the whole audience is looking at us with a blank stare and you know what we just keep doing it anyways because it's so much damn fun <laughs> and that's okay it's like yeah. talking to people that can't receive you it's like well you know this is who i be this is what gets my juices flowing this is what you know, livens my spirit, and it's okay. Yeah. So that's a great totally. image, yeah. Boy, but yeah. I go to the wrongness of me. Yeah, that would be a perfect way to create the wrongness of you for all an eternity. Look at nobody's receiving me. Well, of course they're not. They're stupid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so everything that brings up and everywhere you haven't really been willing to see, their choice for how conscious they really want to be, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate all that? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Okay, so if you look at only really, like, wanting to be heard at, like, 5 or 10% at the most, does it sort of also make sense why you haven't stepped into being on stages or being a big leader or, you know, writing amazing screenplays or all of those things that I've read in all of the 5, 10-year stuff? Does it make sense that you're like, well, I don't really want anybody to hear me. So, cause, okay, so when people talk to me that don't want to be heard, they try to throw, like, smoke screen up, and they try to, like, put stuff in my ears and all kinds of stuff to get me to not be present with them. So mm -hmm. how many of you guys do that every time you get up in front of people? Mm -hmm. Yes. Or every time you interact with any client. Okay, so if you actually only want to be heard 5 or 10%, you'll literally do all that stuff. So everything that brings up and all the mechanisms and systems you have for people, for getting people to not hear you, to not listen to you, and to not pay attention to you, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pock, pock, shorts, boys, and beyonds. What if you guys embodied being the show-offs you truly could be? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. How many of you guys have been resisting being a show-off? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And, and, and what about all the places where we, you know, make ourselves um, stop listening? And you know, all the things we're doing to other people, we do it to ourselves. Yeah, totally. But the other thing is if, okay, so all of you guys are on this call and 5 to 10% came up. So what if the entire world is way worse off than that? Okay, so it's oh, sort of no wonder why you can't hear people because they don't want you to. <laughs> they don't want you to pay attention to them, okay? They have the rightness of not creating any waves, not creating any attention, not being seen or heard at all. 
because that's the way to exist in this society. Everything that mm-hmm. brings up times a godzillion, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate it all? Yeah. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys and beyonds. What if you demanded that you were a presence and a being that would command the entire world's attention, never let anyone veer their eyes or their attention from you? Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So everything we've been doing, doing to not allow that for all time, space, dimensions, and realities, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Absolutely. Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. Oh, God. I, I would really want to do that. Why would you want to do that? Mm-hmm. Well, check it out. If you're willing to be that big of a being, how much capacity do you have to receive money from lots of people? And create change. Yeah. Be change. See, for me, I know where I'm going. So that's a great clearing statement for me. Because I'm like, fuck yeah, I'm going to billions of people. So, you know, like <laughs> that's great. If, even if Even if you're not going to billions of people, will it allow you to be and receive more from everyone? Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Okay. Did somebody say Rika? Yeah, it's Joanne. I just wanted to, um, we were talking about the wrongness. I didn't actually um, do that, that exercise this week, but I had some stuff came up, and I actually had a, a session over the phone with a facilitator I work with here in Canada. And what she really helped me to see, and I'm sure I'm not the only one who's doing this, <clears throat> was that everywhere, everything, I look at it as a wrongness of me. So, for example, it's like, you know, if uh, for me, money, you know, isn't an issue. Rika and I have talked and I have um, had pretty severe chronic pain for about 10 years. And things were actually going better the last couple of weeks. I did some new body work. And then the minute I actually stepped into the day after last week of actually relaxing into feeling better and actually being willing to trust it was going to last, guess what? 24 hours later, whammo, right back to where I was. And so what she was really helping me to see was that it's like we create a wrongness of us when we create the lack, and we make it a wrongness often when we create the abundance. So we're constantly judging our potency because mm. my potency is what creates the pain in my body. Um, you did a, a, a sentence earlier, Rika, where you said, um, what's the value of using, I think, What's the Money value of the Yeah, and I just destroy. threw in the body I threw in the body yeah. thing for me. Cool. Because that's, yeah, that's your what body it was. destroy. Yeah, and so yeah. that's that's what I've been doing with my potency is actually destroying my body. And so what I recognized today was and again I think a lot of us do it is that we we judge from uh, as Dina was Tina was saying, not only the wrongness but the rightness. We go back and forth and back and forth. And I think for many of us, you know, when we express that potency when we were young because it wasn't received, then we shut it down. But then we judged us for doing that because that wasn't comfortable. But then if we, you know, it just went back and forth. So for me, the awareness I had in the conversation with her today that I wanted to share was um, she's seen me with my dog, and she said that that state of being you have, she says, when you're with your dog because I'm the alpha. Like I, my dog is trained really well. That's what I expect. If I say jump, I expect her to say how high. If I say down, she's down till I tell her she can get up. And I said, oh, I said, you mean that kind of like, don't fuck with me? She said, exactly. And so there's no anger with that. There's no judgment with that. It's like she said to me, face the pain. And so I encourage everybody, face whatever in your life is, is causing you that stress. And basically just step into it and say, you know what? Don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> and just, and just make, and make the choice and move forward. Because I'm really cluing it, like, Rika, what you're saying about no judgment. If we stop judging everything about us and we just were, like, it's just so much more spacious and so much lighter. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. What am I trying to prove to me and everybody else by fucking destroying my body? I mean, I've had a situation going on for 10 years that nobody could goddamn explain. I can't take medication for it. Like, nothing, nothing would work, nothing would last. It was like, oh, well, look how potent I am. I get to create something that's so convoluted that, okay, that so nobody can figure it out. And and you know what? How potent am I? And so let's choose something else now. So you know what? Don't Don't fuck with me. <laughs> and I encourage everybody to just step into that 
without being yeah. angry, because that's where my I think a lot of us would express our potency with anger. That's what I did. It's like, you know what? Yeah, just don't fuck with me. You know what? I'm choosing this. I'm alpha. It's my life. Cool. Because I've had that intensity in my whole life, and then people have said to me that I intimidate them or I'm being a bitch or whatever, and so I made that a wrongness of me too. Mm-hmm. And guess what? I'm just really friggin' powerful. And well, I'm going to choose don't... to stop hurting myself with it. Awesome. How does it get any better than that? Well, and you know if, you know, if you're demanding, you're wrong. And if you're uh, not demanding, you're wrong. Yep. And if you're in allowance, you're wrong. And if you're not in judgment, you're wrong. Um, if you look left before right when you cross the street, you're wrong. Um, if you have money, I'm sure you're wrong. If you don't, I'm sure you're wrong. And if you have debt, you're wrong. And if you don't, I'm sure you're still wrong. Okay, so everything in this reality, people make wrong. They make you wrong no matter which way you go. Yep. So what if it was time for you to stop making you wrong? Absolutely. Yeah. So everywhere you will now demand in your universe that, again, this fucking ends this week, okay? And if you haven't done that assignment for next week, I, I mean, this this last week, I definitely, definitely encourage it. So everything that brings up times a godzillion will you destroy and increase it all. Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. Okay, so what secret agenda would never allowing you to be the dominatrix of your reality do you have? Oh, I love that. <laughs> Based solely and only on the virtual vibrational realities of this reality, are you using to maintain and entrain everything you decided you will never be judged as? <laughs> everything that brings up, ow, oh, times a godzillion, will you destroy and engrave it all? Yes. yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. Oh, man. Woo! So is that the attitude that we're supposed to have towards the universe, like we're the alpha and it's like our bitch or what? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay, <good. laughs> I can do that. You know, but you know what, Rika, I have to say when I was having that discussion with her, and I think a lot of us have sort of bought into this idea, this whole kind of zen, calm thing, and that if you're, you know, in oneness, you walk around with sort of blissful look on your face and you never get angry and all that stuff. And all of a sudden, when she helped me see that, I thought, you know, that's who I am. I have that intensity. I've always had it. I've made it such a wrongness. And then I sort of got an image of, of you, and you're so delightful in your laughter and everything else. And I thought, you know what? But that's Rika, too, because I can see you in that energy of this is what I'm going for. This is my target. Don't fuck with me. Here I go. And it's not that you're being, you know, there's not an anger with it. There's not um, just get the fuck out of my way and, you know, like we see people in this reality being hurtful or whatever. It's just like this is what I'm doing. This is my choice. I create it. It's going to happen. Don't mm-hmm. fuck with me. Mm-hmm. And that's yeah. so cool. Mm. That's just so cool. Yeah. And the thing is you can be all of it. You can also be an intensity of softness. Mm-hmm. Right? That, you can adjust the every, volume. Yeah. Yeah, right? And it can actually, that's a potency too. Mm-hmm. So, but when you can be anything and any energy at will and choice, you have infinite possibility. So, what secret agenda with never being the dominatrix of your reality in your life and have it like you want it, oh. just like you want it, in every 10 seconds, <laughs> just the way you like it, in every 10 yeah. seconds, and just the way you're choosing it to be in every 10 mm-hmm. seconds, are you using to lock into existence everything you are unwilling or you've decided you will never be? Yeah. Ooh. Everything that brings up times a godzillion will you destroy and uncreate it all. Yeah. Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Cool. Whoa. Rika? Yeah. Uh, this is Victoria. I'm in the uh, Washington, D.C. area, and mm-hmm. I would like to um, use for you are to help me really get in this course. I um, have a secret agenda with a, a relationship with time that I would love to transform. And I suggested that my daughter Lauren in Denver and I do this course partly so that we would have uh, um, 
a, an experience doing something together, mm. partly because we both uh, resonate with this work and um, lots of other reasons. Um, and what happened immediately after I signed this post up is um, my work, which um, I created, obviously, to be uh, unpredictable in terms of demands on my time. So immediately after I signed up for the course, I had uh, demands from the governor's office, demands from um, you know, things that were I just couldn't say no to. Um, I couldn't get downloads of your course. Still haven't done any of the homework for you. <laughs> just on and oh. on. Signed up immediately for Gene Houston's course that simultaneously is going on, and um, haven't asked for a promotion that. Um, uh, I could have asked for probably a year ago, et cetera. Um, saw clients last Saturday only because they demanded it, and I, you know, on and on. So my relationship to time is um, is ready, ripe for change. Okay, awesome. So, are you creating a reality that worked for you? Obviously not. <laughs> Okay, so what's the value of giving up your choice to make everybody else happy? Oh. Mm. Everything that brings up times a godzillion, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all night, pot, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. See, so the thing is, too, you're a humanoid, so you care about everyone. You want to take care of everyone. You want to make sure everybody's happy. You want to do everything you can for everyone. And that's a caring and a kindness. But what if you cared for you first? What if you made everything and every interaction actually work for you? I wouldn't know myself if I did that. And it sounds wonderful to not to know me in a different way. Okay. So what's the value of giving up your choice in order to satisfy everybody else's limited realities? Mm. Oh. Yeah. Breathing that brings up times a godzillion. Would you be willing to destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pot, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Okay, what's the value of creating a reality that doesn't work for you? Everything that brings up times a godzillion, will you destroy and increase it all? Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pot, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. What's the value of trying to make everybody happy that doesn't want to be happy? <laughs> 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 what comes up for me is it's not boring. <laughs> it's not boring. It's a never-ending cycle. And that way yeah. I get to be a failure. Isn't that cool? Everything that brings up times a godzillion. Oh, and then my parents aren't right for not getting happy. Or they are right for not getting happy because I can't make anybody happy. And everything that brings up times a godzillion, will you destroy and create it all? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. So what's the value of creating your life in order to make other people happy? Everything that brings up times a godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Oh, baby, hey, what? Yeah. So I just have a quick thing. But it's important for me. Um, I love to go to a level in Denver in March um, uh, with Gary, and I've been choosing it. I choose it, and I've been asking, um, uh, what would it take for the money to show up for that? Mm -hmm. But it feels like to me, like I can't really see myself being there. Okay. It's a weird energy, an interesting energy. It's like it's blank. I don't. I can't really see myself being there. Okay, so everywhere you're looking to see it is believe it. Instead of to choose it, would you be willing to destroy and create all that times a godzillion? Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, yes. bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, man. So with anything you'd like to choose, what you want to ask is, okay, so what what can I be, do, have, create, generate that would allow this money to show up? Okay. Okay. So it's sort of like if you're a bars facilitator, you're like, okay, cool. Uh, let's see, 1,800 plus this and that. Okay, I need 10 people in my class, or I need 12 people in my class. What are the people? 
the universe goes, uh, go down to so-and-so and talk to so-and-so. And you're like, okay, cool. And you call them and you're like, hey, would you be willing to help me? I really want to get this work out there and it's really amazing. It's phenomenal and blah, blah, blah. And like, what if you just literally asked questions and followed the energy? See, and the thing is, if you have a target that you're shooting for, like, okay, what would it take for 15 or more people to show up for this class? Universe, bring it on, bitch. You my bitch, universe, let's go. And then you got to be willing to act on it. Okay, who or what can I talk to that would actually bring the people into my class? Who else is having a class where they can come and do their second or third class with me? Like, you got to ask a ton of questions and put all these different invitations out there. And universe, what else? And it's all, oh, do this. And you're like, okay, did that. What else? What if you just asked the universe and it gave you all the clues and cues to create whatever future you wanted to create? And what if it was that easy? Yeah. So everything you guys constantly do to make everything hard, <clears throat> everything hard, would you be willing to destroy and then create all that times a godzillion? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. Cool, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Rita? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, my gosh, this is Jennifer from Houston. Hi. Hi, Jennifer. Hi. I just have a quick question um, yeah. about when you were talking about receiving and worship and all that. What if uh, the – I had a stalker not too long ago, and it brought up some really <laughs> negative energy for me, and I would like that to go away, please. Awesome. Okay, so – the one you want to run for this is what energies am I refusing to be and receive that I truly could be and receive, that if I would be and receive it would change all realities and non-realities and manifest as nothing being ever being able to ever dominate, manipulate, control, or orchestrate me ever. Okay. Everything up, up times a godzillion. <laughs> you destroy it and create it all. Yes, yes, yes. please. Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, online, pod, pox, yes. shorts, boys, and meons. Because if you are willing to slit a stalker's throat, would he really want to stalk you? Not so much. Yeah. So what if instead of making your reality small based on that occurrence, what if instead you went, you know what, I'm going to be every energy where no one will ever fuck with me again? Yeah. Okay. And what would it take for me to be so aware that this never occurs again? Right. Everything that brings up, right, wrong, good, bad, online, pod, fox, shorts, boys, and beyond. Because yeah. the thing is, what you could do is, wow, I can't really get out there, and I shouldn't get out there, and I shouldn't do this because this is what happens. Except it was based on the <laughs> being that you were being that that actually could occur. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, so... Everything that brings up, right, wrong, good, bad, online, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and meons. What's weird is the universe is asking to ask me, asking me to ask you this question. So, so I apologize for it ahead of time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, truth, did you actually love being stalked for a moment? <laughs> I mean, it was it was uh, uh, some attention, you know, that I've not some type of attention that I've not received in a long time. So that was. It was there a little bit, but it as soon as it got wonky, it was like, whoa, no thanks. And then it didn't okay. stop. So everything that brings up and everywhere you can now be no perceive and receive that you actually ask for it? Yeah. Would you be willing to destroy it and create it all? Yeah. 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 And then ask for uh, someone or something to show up that would actually be fun, nurturing, caring, kind, of expansive, <laughs> and not a stalker. Woohoo! <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> I'm good, bad, online, pop, pop, shorts, boys, <laughs> Honestly, that's, that's, that was my thought, actually. It was like, whoa, I overshot there. Well, you know, that was a little much. So how do I, how, how do I dial that down just a bit? <laughs> <laughs> that is so great. You're like, I want to committed full-time relationship where someone just adores me totally and shoot, I've got to leave out all that, the 
those crazy tendencies of coming in my house and stealing my panties and stuff. <laughs> no potency there. <laughs> hey, Rika, I still haven't quite, Rika, I still haven't got that statement, and I think I really need it. This is Deborah okay. again. What energies oh. are you refusing to be in receive that if you were able to be in receive? That yeah, you and change? the thing is, we're going to send it out in the notes. Okay. So it'll be it'll be there. But what energies are you refusing to be in receive that you truly could be in receive, that if you would be in receive them would change all realities and non-realities, and manifest is never being able to be dominated, manipulated, controlled, or orchestrated by anyone, anything, or any energy ever. Yeah. Hmm. Everything that brings up times of God's lean, will you destroy next yeah. beetle? Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pod, shorts, boys, and beyond. Huge. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> oh, are we really going to play that game for homework? Oh, this is a crazy one, you guys. Okay, this one, I would say definitely use at your own risk, okay? I'm putting big cautionary labels on this one. <laughs> 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 and it can be something that can create a tremendous amount of change, okay? Mm-hmm. But you have to be willing to not take anything home. Basically, not have any point of view about anything that anyone during this exercise says or does, okay? So do you guys promise mm-hmm. me that you won't take anything home, you won't take anything seriously, you won't make anything about you? Okay. Right. Yeah. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. Okay, so here's the here's the exercise for this week. The so one is if you can get with somebody to do that worship thing and then mm-hmm. pock and pot everything that keeps you guys leaving your body and not being willing to receive it, it that okay. will rock your universe because all of a sudden you'll be walking around like, of course the entire universe is here to gift to me. Because you're willing to receive that adoration and that that like putting you on high, like, yes, darling, right? But th- the thing is, it's not like uh, from superiority. It's more like everyone is a being. We all are this, okay? Mm-hmm. So that piece will assist you a lot. Okay, so here's the next one. It's a game called I Love That About Me. <laughs> oh, this is one of those, okay? <laughs> okay, Tony. you have done this. You, oh, you guys have done this? Have you done this? Yeah. Some of us. No. I've heard about it. Some of us have heard about it. Okay, cool. Yeah, it, and you can probably, I mean, man, this this game has created so much clarity for me. I can't even, and thing is, you got to be really brave, really willing, really vulnerable, and really willing to not judge yourself no matter what. And it can mm-hmm. create a lot of change. So what you have the person ask you is, so what's the one thing that if I said that to you would just totally ruin everything for you. It would be the worst thing that somebody could say. Okay? That's, <laughs> I know, I know. You guys are like, ah! Oh, everything that brings up, we're going to destroy and then create it all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, wrong, good, bad, yeah. all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. Okay, so what's the worst thing that somebody could ever say to you or about you? And the other person goes, that I'm an uncaring bitch. Okay? And what you have to do is, I love that about me. I love that I'm an uncaring bitch. Okay? Because what happens right now is that you're resisting that you are that. Well, you aren't it anyway. So if you start yelling and screaming like, I love it about me. I love that I'm this. I love it so much. Oh, God, it's just great. Love that about me. What will happen is you'll actually dissipate the polarity to where you don't have a point of view about it. Because right. how many things are you like, oh, my God, if they said this, if anybody said this about me or to me, it would just annihilate me. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so all of those things you actually think are true, and yeah. you're resisting them. Like if anybody yeah. said that particular thing to you, you'd be tanked. You'd be like, oh, my God, my whole life, it sucks now, and, and that was true, and blah, blah, blah. Well, if you actually start bringing that stuff up, they go, I love that about me, yes. Yes, that is so fantastic. Okay, it has to be fun. Okay, and then what you do is pocket pot everything that allow that allows me to think that this is me or this exists. 
Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pock, shorts, boys, yeah. and beyond. Okay, so embrace it and then pock and pot it. <laughs> you know what, what it is? It's pock and pot everything I've resisted or reacted to or aligned and agreed with that allows us to exist. So we were playing this once in Australia, and um, what I figured out was that I feel, felt more comfortable when people hated me than when they actually adored me. Okay, that's a really good thing to find out, okay, because what was <laughs> happening is I w- <laughs> it is. Like, I was pissing people off to no end in every direction. I was like, why are they so mad at me? Well, because I was making them hate me, because if they hated me, and then I knew where we stood. Okay, good. Everybody's disappointed. Okay, where do we go from here? Okay, I know that sounds really mm-hmm. bizarre, but I was raised in a family where I was wrong all the time. So it felt really natural to me to have everybody not trusted me and everybody totally uh, disappointed in me. So once they were disappointed, then I'm like, okay, cool. Now I can't disappoint you again, which the first time was hard enough. So now that you can't be disappointed, we can have a relationship. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what I would do is I would put that in everybody's universe and everybody would end up hating me or being disappointed in me. <laughs> Okay, this is a really good thing to know if you're going where I'm going. Because where I'm going, can I be as big as I'd like to be if I feel more comfortable with people hating me and loving me? Mm -hmm. Not so much, okay? So everything that brings up, times a godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pock, shorts, boys, and beyond. So go back and forth, and what you ask, What's the worst thing that somebody could say to you or about you? That would just freaking, oh, my God. So bring up yeah. those deep, dark judgments, right? And you're like, they would say that I'm fat and ugly. I love that about me. I love that I think that I'm fat and I'm ugly. I just love it. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, pocket pot, everything that makes me think that that is real, true, and me. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pock, shorts, boys, and beyond. Okay, your turn, right? So, and what that'll do is it'll disarm all of the polarity and electrical stuff that you've locked in place that's so deep and so dark and so yucky. But you have to get that excited about the whole thing. Yes, I love that about Well, and and you have to yell it out yell really it out. loud, right, Rika? <laughs> like, yeah, that's what I would say. Scream it out. Yeah. So there's your assignment for the week because that stuff, like that deep, dark, wrongness, crazy, crazy stuff. Man, if you unload that, guess what kind of a life you get to have? One where the entire world doesn't hate you, maybe, like me. And I, one that where the I don't feel more comfortable with the entire world hating me than loving me. Mm-hmm. Okay, what would happen, too, is when people really adore me, I'd be like, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about them. I don't know what's going to happen there. At some point, I'm going to disappoint you. Okay. Just thought you should know, right? <laughs> so it'll help you uncover some of these crazy, crazy, crazy making places in which you're creating your reality that aren't actually working for you. So um, do, do you guys have any questions about your assignment for this week? No, they sound fun. Right? Uh, I don't have a question, <laughs> yes, but um, can we get the home play uh, sooner this week? Because uh, last week got it. Uh, like yeah, yesterday, Sunday. and I didn't have any time to roll around my money. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm, yeah, absolutely. I didn't know that that was homework. Yeah, I had a little bit of a crazy, crazy, crazy making week. Um, but I can actually uh, do it tomorrow morning. So, Yay. I had like Ooh. crazy expo into events, driving to Los Angeles and back and up and down and left and right, and it's been a little mess. So I apologize for that. And um, I will actually do it tomorrow morning, so you guys will get it tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye. You're welcome, okay, beautiful so, beings. So we, so we do, do so we, yes, we are right, just on the home play. We think about what's the worst thing anyone can say to me or about me, and we do this with a partner Yeah. or not. Yeah, with yeah. a partner, for sure. You're going to need some help on this one, Okay. Because <laughs> it's like if you did this by yourself, you might end up depressed and buying all this stuff as you. Okay, it's not actually you. It's just your judgments of you. It's the things that you feel like if somebody, oh my God, this would be oh terrible. 
it's like for me, like if somebody went, you are so unkind and mean and vicious, and, and I'd be like, oh, my God, right? So I'm like, mm-hmm. I love that about me. I love that I'm uncaring and unkind and just, okay, everything that allows me to think that, that, that I am that, because anything you're proving you're not, you actually think you are. Mm-hmm. So everything that brings up for all y'all, yeah. will you destroy and uncreate mm-hmm. all? Mm-hmm. Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, online, pod, poc, shorts, boys and beyond. And we basically want to get you out of all of these points of view so that you can actually have the gifts that you are. What if you're not okay. your judgment? What if you're... So we have our partner go, you're really fat and ugly. And then, so then we say really loud, I love that I'm fat and ugly. <laughs> okay, I know, like it that? sounds really terrible. Okay, but check this out. This is how it works. Okay, so I'll, let me do this with you, Mary. Okay, so Mary, what's the one thing that you would never want anyone to say to you ever and that would just annihilate you? The fat and ugly is pretty high up there. Okay, so now this is what you say. I don't say you're fat and ugly. You say, I love that I'm fat and ugly. I love that I think that about me. I love that I'll totally degrade myself and never see me and never see myself as my beautiful because I'm fucking gorgeous beyond belief, but I won't ever allow myself to receive it. I love that about me. And that would be your version. That's what you do. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then what you do is talk and pause that everything that makes me think this is real or me. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, poc, shorts, boys, meons. I don't know. Have any of you met Mary? Have you guys seen her picture? Yeah. Okay, isn't that funny? I'm like, yeah. I've been working with you on this with you forever, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what's it going to take for you to see how beautiful you are? Because everybody else gets it. But whatever you do, just keep resisting every what everybody else gets. But I love that about me. <laughs> <laughs> and everything that allows you to think this is real, true, or you, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Yes, okay. yes, yes. Right, yes. wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pod, shorts, boys, and beyond. Yeah. Okay, because there's all these, also these places that, that you really do love making yourself feel that bad about you. So it's like mm. it's weird. It addresses this. Yes, I love making myself feel like crap, and I really, oh, God, this is a scary, dark, ugly place. And then at the end, you're like, okay, pock and pod, everything that allows us to exist, totally. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pock, shorts, boys, and beyond. Mm-hmm. All right. Wow. That's a powerful <laughs> Yeah. It's kind of a big one, and it can create more clarity, more awareness, and more out of crap than anything you can even imagine. (laughs) And, you know, there might be a time at which you go, okay, I think it's time for us to stop the game, okay? Because you can't ever take it seriously as if what, you know, you're saying is true, okay? The whole point is to not take it home, to not make it real, to not make it true, but to bring it up and then to change it so it doesn't exist. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, this is going to be really awesome this week, you guys. I'm looking forward to hearing what this is like for you. <laughs> Thank you. I apologize in advance, and I'm <laughs> gave you the caution label. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much. That was so much fun. Thank you. you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Have a beautiful Bye, week. I adore thank you, you Rika. all. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Alright everybody, welcome to Creating Your Dream Life and Business as a Reality Teleclass Week 5. Can I get a big round of applause? You guys are great. Oh, how did I get so lucky? Wow, what a week, right? Does anybody have any uh, like questions or comments or did anybody do the assignment and would like to share something about it? Yes. I had a new car show up in my driveway this week, so that was pretty good. <laughs> oh, awesome. How did we get any better than that? That's what I said. It was wonderful, so thank you. 
You're welcome. Isn't it weird how you start living in the question and these possibilities show up and you get out of your own way and these possibilities show up? I had somebody in a class whose whose sister bought her a house during the teleclass. Oh, my God. (laughs) And it was during the family teleclass, and she's like, I know exactly what we unlocked that allowed my sister to actually give it to me because I wouldn't have received it before. (laughs) Isn't that cool? It's like, yay, go car! Ah, cool, why does it get any better? Does anybody else have anything they'd like to share from this week? Hi, this is Elena. Elena, how you be, honey? Okay, um, I did the uh, playing with money exercise, which was very interesting. I really did not realize how hard that would be for me. <laughs> it was, uh, you know, really showed me, like, you know, it's hard for me to think of having fun with money and, you know, that, mm-hmm. you know, I guess that means I'm, you know, not, haven't been ready to receive it or something. It was weird. I mean, yeah. Was, so did it change by the end of the exercise? Did you start playing with it? Yeah. Good. So it, was it, was very, it was very revealing. <laughs> Oh, that is so cool because what's amazing about that, too, is when you start doing these assignments, you really get, oh, my God, I'm functioning here with this. And see, once we know really where you are, then we can actually take you where you want to be, and you can take you where you want to be, which is just so cool. Good job, Ellen. Way to go, girlfriend. (laughs) This is Pamela. And I, I have been having so much fun playing. I love that about me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. No. I mean, everything that I think is uh, has been um, something that would be driving me crazy or making me crazy about myself. When I do that with that kind of enthusiasm, it cracks me up so much that. It makes me laugh every time I think of what it is that I'm upset or what I think, you know, when I've had a judgment about myself. And I've been, I told my daughter how to play it, and we have been having so much fun back and forth whenever something comes up saying, ah, that's about me, and just laughing. (laughs) So it has been such a fun week because it's really amazing how we make such a BFD about everything. Yeah. And it doesn't need to be that way. So it kind of just blows that whole thing to smithereens by just embracing it and accepting it and then pot- potting it and letting it go with laughter. Yay! I love yeah. it! I love it about you! <laughs> <laughs> I love it too! <laughs> it's been great. It's been fun. It's been oh, a fun week. Thank you for sharing, Pamela. Thanks for sharing. Anybody else like to share? Yes. Hey, Who is that? It? Yeah. It's Anne. Anne, how you be? What do you have to share for this week? Huh? Wonderful. I said that's wonderful. What, what do you have to share for this week? Well, I I wanted you, I, um, I did the 10% like you did initially. You know, I would do 10% and then I would spend it and do 10% and then spend it, do 10% and spend it. And yeah. I decided I I decided that I. It's almost like I. Um, I don't know what the right word is. I demanded that that stop and that the ten percent stay. And mm, it's a. Cool. It's like a different energy. It's like the money is showing up. The other thing is I'm really grateful for every penny that I have. Every all the money that comes in, and it just keeps on coming in. It's like it's just not a. It's like it's not a deal. And I know it's not a deal anymore. I know this is like here to stay. And it's so cool, Rika. Thank you so much. Yay, Anne. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And Anne's been working with a big investor in investing in her because her, she, she does conscious families, and um, she's a family play therapist. She's absolutely phenomenal. And uh, so, yeah. yeah. So she's been, like, talking to him and just asking questions and being with it. And he's yeah. in the yeah. bar, so okay. how does it get better? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so oh, how That's does it get better? Ooh, you know what? brings up a really great energy. How many of you guys have ever said, this is what I desire or this is what's going on, and when everyone else is unwilling to receive it, they judge you, therefore you start shutting down what you're receiving because you don't want to receive more judgment. So can I do another one on that line? (laughs) Yeah. So everything that brings up for everyone, would you guys be willing to destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. 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 Right around Good Bad Online, Pod Park Shorts, Boys and Beyond. Awesome. What were you going to say, Ann? 
so that deal, so a friend of ours had a um, turn 60, and there was a 60th birthday party for him. And uh-huh. and, I, and so um, a friend sent out an email saying, all right, Sally's going to do this, and Marianne's going to do this, and then in parenthesis, or, and then Anne's going to do the dance routine. So I used to dance like years ago. And then she wrote, I I think or I hope or something. And I read the email, and my heart just jumped on it. I went, oh, I'll have that. That is so cool. And so I did it. And also, like, you have never seen before. Hold on real quick. Yeah. Uh, there's a really crazy echo on the line, almost as if somebody else is talking. It's strange. Okay, hold on. Now we've got a phone call. <laughs> hold the line. It's God calling. He's telling you that you're... Oh, my God. It's all going... This is God. This is God. This is God. Okay. Sorry, keep going, Ann. I just wanted to make sure that we could hear you. Yeah, I know. So, so... There were like a hundred people at this party, and we went upstairs, and none of us had rehearsed it. And it, it was to YMCA, except we called it AARP. And you, you know the village people do this. To, anyway, I I I uh-huh. got it. It got it into my body, and I went there, and um and we did this incredible, this really funny routine. And I and I looked at the that went on YouTube. You know they showed it, and people were screaming and yelling and laughing and cheering us on and doing all this stuff. And I watched it afterwards, and I realized that. I was the music and I was the dance and I was the energy that was there. And yeah. and I thought, oh, that's what this is like. It's like I can do this. I can go on TV. I can go in front of crowds of people. This is awesome. so fucking fun. <laughs> and, yeah. and it was just like choosing it, you know. I'll have that. And then, awesome. and then following it, oh, my God, people were – coming up to me afterwards and saying, oh, you look so free, and I can't believe you did that. And I watched. There was no self-consciousness in it. There was no – it was so fun, Rika. It was like pure joy and bliss. It was just – it was so neat. Yay, Anne, how does it get any better? So <laughs> everyone who's on the call noticed she didn't go, I can't do that, or I'm scared about that, or it's too much energy, or I'm, you know, I have fear about this, which is just excitement. She went, okay, I'll have it, and then just showed up. Yeah. And then went, oh, oh my God, and watched it and went, look it, there's no self-judgment. I mean, okay, so everywhere you guys oh. continue to be the judge of yourself, would you be willing to shoot the judge that leaves your body and then judges everything you say? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> Everywhere that you've created a judge, jury, and hangman yeah. of your universe, that's a you that's outside of you that judges every move you make in order to make sure that you don't make a wrong choice or a wrong move. Everything that brings up times of God's onion, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate it all? Yeah. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pod, shorts, boys, and beyonds. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Yeah. That's awesome. Yay! Well, thank, thank you. you. You're welcome. You're welcome. That's freaking cool. And how to get better. <laughs> <laughs> I what I say. Um, how's it get any better than this? It's like, woo Bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody else have anything to share from this week? Yeah, this is Elizabeth. I have something to share. Awesome. But before I share, if Victoria is on the line, um, I shoot in... College Park, Maryland. I have been sending you emails and stuff. I really would like to get in touch with you because I gotta have my bars run in the worst way. And um, so, if you could pick up your emails, I would really, really appreciate it. There's one in your Yahoo account. And there's one on the on the Ning site. So, thank you, Elizabeth. This is Victoria. I got it. I just didn't respond yet because I didn't know what time to suggest or where you live. Well, honey, I'll but I need my car. bars run so bad. You can call anytime you want to. I'll be in the car. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, thank you. So here's what happened to me. Um, there's okay, a, um, first can I stop you? Just because sure. I can add more consciousness to it. Okay, so nothing happens. You create everything. So start with this is what I created. Okay, and thank ahead. you. All right, okay. you're welcome. So here's what I created. So I belong to this um, book club, which if you know me, that's kind of a weird thing. It's kind of like me going to a Tupperware party, and I kind of don't go to Tupperware parties. So anyway, I belong to this book club. I really live in this cute little town. And we had our little meeting on um, Sunday, and I went. Mm -hmm. And so this one lady, I'm trying to make it as short as I can, but this one lady in the book club came up to me, and 
she is the head of the Economic Development Committee here in town, and I've been to a couple of meetings, and I'm, I'm very boisterous about things. So anyway, she comes up to me, and she makes this grand statement about, um, you know, how great this is. People can just be themselves here and blah, blah, blah. And I said, oh, yeah, it's fine, you know. So anyway, at the end of the meeting, we have this thing go around, and I, I raise my hand to make a suggestion. And she makes this really god awful, ridiculously just mean, disgusting comment from the back of the room about my suggestion. I'm sitting here and I'm going, "Wow, okay, so there's nothing political about this room." So I'm just laughing to myself about it. But here's what happens that's just very interesting. So in a couple of days after that, because well, today's yeah, so I, twice I get this uh, this crazy. Um, thing, you know, this who do you this belong to thing about me, uh, something. Anyway, and, and as the minute it gets to me, I go, who does this belong to? And, and it comes back, bam, it's Lisa. I said, wow, this is what Lisa yeah. is thinking about me. So then I send mm-hmm. it back to her, you know, time the Godzillion awareness, blah, 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 going, and with the, with the thing, you know, wow, that Elizabeth, she is just so smart. There's just like no way I can keep with her. I think I better figure out how to work with her on this other kind of stuff. But then I'm pot and pocky this thing, and I'm just getting crazy, crazy elated and laughing. But then the second time I remember to do the, um, where you uh, separate yourself so that they don't find you on that. Everything's uh, the opposite of what it appears to be and yes. nothing is the opposite of what it appears to be. Yes. yes. Yeah, so after I did that the second time, then it was, but it was really, really very strange because it was, oh, it's kind of neat because it's very clear that it was her and she was locked in that moment when, you know, she, anyway, whatever it was. And, I, and But it was complete, total judgment. It was complete, total, definitely her stuff that she was pushing off on me going, you know. And I just thought, well, whatever, you know, it's your thing, but let's just work on these things because we have to. And um, if I have to put it in your head, that, you know, that's fine. So it was cool. Yeah. Yeah, and and what's it's like what if you are always willing to be the doorway out with everyone? Like if somebody judges me, I go, "Okay, cool. What do I choose here?" I go, "Okay, well, I choose to not judge them. I choose to be caring of them." Even in positions where you would think I should be up in arms and it's really terrible and you can't believe what they said and they said it to a room full of people and I just all kinds of stuff, you know. So, but in still instead of judging them, I go, "What do I choose for me?" And I'm like, okay, yeah. no judgment. The space of caring, to, to be totally like caring, kind, expansive with the whole thing, and always send them the doorway out. Well, so that I'm really, never locking their judgment in place. So that's cool that you did that. Thank you. What was interesting is that you know she made a point at the beginning of the evening to come over me and to me and try to put this peace offering down when I didn't even really realize that we had anything to have a peace offering about. But clearly yeah. she's been upset by the comments that I've been making at the economic development meeting. So, uh, And here we are in the same book club. So it was very interesting. The whole thing was interesting. But it did raise my awareness that that was going on with her to the point that, you know, when she was thinking about it the last couple of days, I picked up on it and then was able to throw it back at her. Very interesting. Yeah. And that's, that's really awesome. And that's like after you do Who Does This Belong To for three days and then start using Who Does This Belong To and you knowing that you're basically aware. When anybody thinks about you, you're picking up on the information. So sometimes, like, if there's something going on and energetically with me, I'm like, okay. And I text message the person. I go, do you have something going on with me? Is this mine? Someone else's? Something else's or the earth? And they're like, oh, man, I'm sorry, but I've been – doing this and doing that and thinking this about you, and I'm like, okay, let's work on it. Would you like to change it or whatever? So it's like once you sort of know that you're aware of the world around you, you can make all these choices that will actually work for you. And I think the funnest part is you get to be proud of who you are. Like what kind of choices could you start making that would actually allow you to be proud of you? So everything that doesn't allow you to be no perceive and receive that, will you destroy and create it all? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, online, pod, talk, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Okay. So does anybody have any more questions for me before we get started? Yes, Rachel? Yeah. Uh, it's Kat. Um, Hi. I've been doing a uh, 
interesting things. Everything's rearranging from what I was planning, and right now okay. I'm required to um, get a lump sum of money in um, as I pay. And I'm feeling okay about it. Like, it's kind of just moving. I'm still generating lots of other things, but I had my launch set, right, for the 17th, and then a whole lot of stuff has fallen out the plug hole and rearranged and changed with that. So I'm just wondering, did I destroy it or have I just, am I just changing into something that works for me better? Okay, so let me ask hey, you, so truth, did you, did you destroy it? Or, or truth, are you choosing something? Is something, are you basically rearranging so it actually gets better? Yeah, I'm getting I'm doing that. The better yeah. part? Then, yeah. I'm sorry, one more time. Yes. It sounds like there's a lot of information there. So did you say that's the better one or the destruction one? Or the destruction one. Um, I'm getting it's the better one. It's just not showing up as better straight away. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So the thing is, anytime you're in any conclusion, actually, better felt lighter for me too. So yeah. Um, so the thing is, it's like sometimes if you create a conclusion, then you have to fit everything into that conclusion. So if you have no conclusion, you can work with the entire universe to generate everything as if by magic. And hey, you know, universe has a different timeline. Maybe there's like you know a few things that. If you got these few pieces, that thing would go crazy versus sort of get launched. You know what I mean? Yes, very much. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Cool. Okay. okay. Anybody? <laughs> awesome. Anybody else have any more questions? Hey, Rika, it's Colleen. Colleen, hello, honey. What's your question, Hi. baby love? And I think um, maybe like, um, the New Zealand or Australia line might be a little loud, so if you want to go on mute. That'd be awesome. Like whoever that is, if somebody's doing dishes, if you're something like that, we can definitely hear you. Okay. Am I muted? Is it okay if I ask a question, even though it's my first yeah, time participating? Because um, it's about something yeah. that we talked about last week. Um, okay. I you had taught me the, the technique way, she, about. She just, by the way, you guys, she just got done with Bars Foundation and Level One, so I wouldn't let her in this class if she didn't have five days of me. So, okay, go ahead. And we and we and we sat in on the last class silently. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, the when you were talking about pulling energy, I had that um, uh -huh. audition that I did oh, for yeah. that cool for that spot. And I pretty much was just, you know, what um, generative, you know, energy, consciousness, does, does me and my body need to be to be the person that books that, you know, blah, 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 pulling energy, all that kind of stuff. I put it in my calendar that I had gotten it and that that's what I was mm -hmm. going to be doing Monday. And I was just really neutral about it. You know, I, I try not to make any you know, judgments about it or anything like that. Um, I never heard from anybody. I didn't get it. Um mm -hmm. The pulling energy thing, I don't, I don't think I quite understand um, how to do that. Okay. Well, the thing is, there, about that. It's a, there's a lot of choices that are being made in the universe, yes? It's kind of like, are you the god of the entire universe, or are you sort of working in collaboration with all of it? Right. Sort of in collaboration with all of it, right? So. Correct. Everywhere you make yourself wrong, if what you've decided and concluded doesn't show up, instead of, like, being grateful and honoring and uh, enjoying the experience of having what you had with it, will you just try and cradle that time to God's again? Yeah. Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. So what if your sort of awareness of your success didn't have anything to do with this reality or the world around you? What if it was more about you for you? Okay, because okay. if you put your, your sort of results or success in everybody else's hands, then you're always having it taken away from you. If you're proud of you and honoring of you and grateful for you and going, wow, I am so excited. I totally showed up for that. Like what if your target was having all of you and all of the other stuff was just the byproduct? 
Okay, so okay. everything that brings up time to God, so you never, or were you having to allow yourself to have that? Everybody, will you destroy and create a lot? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, right, you. wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, talk, short, boys, and yeah. Because unfortunately, there's not just one person choosing this entire universe, right? There's a whole bunch of people that are choosing. So you can contribute consciousness, you can do all kinds of magic, and you can do all kinds of stuff. Now, does everything that I, you know, desire, does it show up just like I thought it was? Or does it always look different? <laughs> See, what if you created, yeah, what if you created no conclusion about anything? Like, you were so unconcluded, you didn't even know that you didn't get it because there was no conclusion of getting it in the first place. Okay, and what if you honored and were grateful and rejoicing in the success of having it and being what you got to be versus did I get the result? Because any time you're invested in the outcome, is it a move towards question or a move towards answer? Right, Mr. Right. So everything that brings up and everywhere you keep trying to judge you based on your success or the results, which is actually a judgment. It's not an acknowledgement of you. The acknowledgement of you would be going, yes, you're right, too. It's so cool. I totally showed up. I created this possibility. Awesome. What else is possible? Like you'd be rejoicing in that versus, well, I didn't get the result, so I was wrong or I did something wrong. So everything that brings up times of God's name, will you just try and create it all? Yeah. Yes. 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 Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pot, pot, short, boys, me on. Gary's like, well, if I had it my way, Everyone would be functioning from consciousness. But can I make everyone choose? Not so much. But I can be the consciousness that will allow them to choose. Okay, so everywhere you decided that if what you decided didn't show up, you were wrong and you don't work. And everywhere you actually use that to prove that you don't work, we just trying to create a lot of times a godzillion. Oh, boy. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. Oh, that's a big one. See, the only way that it can be sort of a disappointment is if you have a conclusion attached. Right? If you've yeah. concluded yeah. that that's what's going to show up and it doesn't show up, then you're disappointed. Well, what if you actually allowed yourself to have you and your choice for you? Like, if you were choosing this all for you, what energy would you be with it? Well, more gratitude. Yeah. Would you be, like, honoring and grateful for the possibilities and still not make it that you even didn't get it? Because, hey, you know, they may choose you in the future if you don't conclude that it never happened. Yeah. Right? Okay, true. So, Everything that brings up and everywhere you keep wanting to be the god of your reality and create conclusions and then manipulate everything into conclusions versus be the consciousness that invites them to the doorway. You can't make them walk through it. You can just invite them all the way to the doorway. So everything that brings up times a gazillion will you destroy and create it all. Yes. Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, talk, shorts, boys, and So what secret agendas with conclusion do you have based solely and only on the virtual vibrational realities of this reality are you using to maintain and entrain the proof that you're wrong and you don't work? Hmm. Everything that brings up times a godzillion, would you be willing to destroy and well, create it all? I move my stuff out first. Mm-hmm. Okay. No? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, the end. Pamela, were you talking to me, honey, or are you talking to somebody else? I'm sorry. I thought it was muted. Okay. Ah. Uh, mute. Uh, Rika, I'm, okay. I'm used to doing this thing where I become the person who is already experiencing the result. Of you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, let me become the person who's booked that. But that's still a conclusion. Oh. Yeah, what if you already are? What if you don't have to become it? What if you already are it? And you're it so much that you wouldn't ever create that you didn't get it. Okay. See, the thing is, if you were willing to have you and your life outside of this reality, it wouldn't matter to you. 
So what have you made matter more than you? Okay, it sounds like there's a lot of people who think they're on mute that aren't on mute. So how about we mute everyone, and then you guys can unmute yourselves, the people who know that you want to not be on mute. Yeah. Can we do that, Miss Eve? Right, I'll do it right now. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Rika, you can push star seven yourself too. Oh, you muted Lisa? me too. Okay, cool. I'm here. Okay, great. Okay, Everybody so else wants. To... Yeah, go ahead, Ed. Please. Anybody else who wants to unmute themselves, you can push star seven to come back on. Okay, again, that's star seven to unmute you. Okay, cool. Oh boy. So, what secret agenda with the investment in conclusion do you have? Based solely and only on the virtual vibrational realities of this reality, are you using to maintain and entrain the total invalidation of you as a being? Oh, boy. Everything that brings up times a godzillion, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pot, pox, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, you guys like to make your life hard. <laughs> hey, Rico. Yeah. Hey, it's Greg. Um, hi. Hi. So, uh, what what I hear, what comes up for me in this, and it's totally in the ballpark. When when the 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 life that I'm creating involves a career that does count on other people providing at least some of the work that comes my way. Um, mm -hmm. It feels challenging to remain out of the conclusion of, you know, because X job would pay X bills and, and, and get me closer to, you know, the phenomenal life that I envision for myself. So, yeah. so what if you guys gave up computing and calculating? Cool. Because how much, okay, so the thing is, we want to move you into the energy of having, so there is no stress with money, right? So right. you start actually having money, and then you be the energy of having, and everyone just feels you're having, and they just want to give you more having, okay? Right. If you do the X, Y, and Z will pill, pay X bills, that's more from a wanting, needing, and trying to get kind of place. And you can feel the desperateness in someone's universe when they're functioning from it. Uh -huh. And it creates this, I don't know why, but I don't want to gift you because it actually invalidates your reality. Mm -hmm. So ev mm -hmm. everything that brings up and everywhere you guys have created getting, wanting, and needing universes versus having universes, you guys will be willing to destroy and uncreate all those times a gazillion. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and beyond. Oh, boy. Okay, so which is why the 10% is really, really cool because you want to create that other relationship and play around with it and really start a relationship with it. So that getting, wanting, and needing energy leaves your universe totally. So it doesn't exist for you. Okay, so th the thing is if you – okay, so instead of that calculation type thing, here's what I do. Okay, money shows up and I go, awesome, and maybe there's something I'm, you know, creating a product or whatever. Okay, so – First off, I ask for way more than I actually require so I can have plenty of money because that's just easier for me and more fun <laughs> and I can change more paradigms. <laughs> so everywhere you guys are only asking to get your bills paid and just to be taken care of by the universe, and everywhere you have the rightness of it always takes care of me, which is a conclusion which would create it just barely taking care of you, we destroy and create all that times a godzillion. Yes. Sort of like the all my needs are met kind of point of view. See, I feel good because all my needs are met. Okay, what if it wasn't about meeting needs? What if it was about thriving beyond your wildest imagination? Everything that brings up times a godzillion. <laughs> Destroy and uncreate it all. 
Right, wrong, good, bad, all night, and pot talk, shorts, boys, and beyond. Oh, cool. Okay. So, with the night, you know, the show showing up, or uh, this would pay, you know, this pays this bills, or whatever, instead of making it pay bills, okay, go, universe, that's awesome. What else is possible? So that the money that's coming in, you never look at how it's assigning to what you require to pay in your life. You're looking at how that's going to gift to you and what else you can generate that will take care of the baseline, okay? Mm -hmm. But you don't even, when that comes in, you still don't create a conclusion like, oh, I've taken care of the baseline. You go, oh, universe, thanks so much for that money. Let me have it, right? And then, you know, bring in more so I can take care of the baseline. So you do that with everything, and at the end of the month you go, oh, cool. There's like eight times more money because I, I, I was it still in the question. Hmm. Okay, so I, I go, what do I have to, what can I generate? What can I be, do, have, create, or generate today that would generate more money for me today and in the future? And all kinds of things come up, like, ooh, this thing, or this thing, or talk to this person, or call them now. And it's sort of this constant generation of money. It's not like, okay, now I have the money to pay my bills, Let's stop. <laughs> mm. Okay, so if money is an answer, you'll always only receive what you need. Okay, because you've answered your question with the money. Does that make sense? Like mm -hmm. if money is an answer to your problems, you get that answer and that's it. You stop asking questions. So everywhere you guys have created money as an answer in your life, instead of as a constant question that you constantly question, and even a day before the end of the month, you're still going, universe, come on, bring it on. And it's like, well, I gave you like 20 times what you required for your baseline, but sure, here's some more. Because you never stop asking. So everything that brings up and everywhere you've created money as an answer or the answer, will you destroy and create all that times a godzillion? Yes. Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pot, pock, shorts, boys, and meons. Okay. Okay, so what 